Exponential functions are used for many real life applications such as finance, computer science, and life sciences. If you are working with equations that describe the real life situations, it gives you method of making prediction. Most of the time, working with equation or dealing with equation itself is not enough because we learn a lot about things by seeing the pictorial representation of that thing. That is why graphing exponential function is a special tool because it gives us another layer of insights of predicting future events. So in today's class, we want to discuss how we can sketch the graph of exponential functions when the base is greater than one and when the base is less than one. So that is what we want to discuss today. So let's sketch the graph of the function f of x is equal to two raised to the power x with the interval minus three less than or equal to x less than or equal to three. Next thing now is that we have to draw a table. We have to make a table. So draw a table. You have to draw a table for x and f of x. So x and f of x is equal to two raised to the power x. So when x is equal to minus three, when x is equal to minus two, when x is equal to minus 1, when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 2, and when x is equal to 3. So, when x is equal to minus 3, so when x is equal to minus 3, so f of x, f of minus 3 will be equal to 2 raised to the power minus 3, and this will give us 1 over 2 raised to the power 3, which gives 1 over 8. So 1 over 8 will be here. When x is equal to minus 2, so f of minus 2 will be equal to 2 raised to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power 2, and that is 1 over 4. So you are going to write 1 over 4 here. When x is equal to minus 1. So half of minus 1 will be equal to 2 raised to the power minus 1, which is equal to 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 will be here. When x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, f of 0 will be equal to 2 raised to the power 0, which is equal to 1. Remember that any number that is raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this one gives 1. When x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 1, so f of 1 will be equal to 2 raised to the power 1. Any number raised to the power of 1 will be that number. So, 2. Then when x is equal to 2, f of 2 will be equal to 2 raised to the power 2, which is equal to 4. When x is equal to 3, f of 3 will be equal to 2 raised to the power 3, which is equal to 8. So this one is 4 and this one is 8. Now the next thing is that we have to draw the graph. We have to sketch the graph. Here is a y-axis and here is a x-axis. The vertical is y-axis. Y axis and the horizontal is the x axis. So this is the center, which is zero. So here one, two, three, and we have negative one, negative two, and negative three. So when x is so, let's label the y also. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So y axis. So minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, 
minus 7 and minus 8. So when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So you have to share that, please. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. It'll be here. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4. It'll be here. Equal to 4. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 8. It'll be up. So when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1 over 2. So it'll be somewhere around this place. That is 0 0.5. When x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 1 over 4. That is 0 0.25. Be somewhere around this place. So, so. When x is equal to minus 3, y is equal to 1 over 8. That one also will be somewhere around this place. So you can see that it doesn't touch x axis at all. So now we need to join the points together. So this is graph of f of x is equal to 2 raised power x. So what I want to explain here is that you can see that 2 is the base here. So the base is 2. While x is an index. Index or exponents or power. So when the base is greater than 1, and the base is greater than 1. You can see how the graph looks. The base is greater than 1. So you can see how the graph looks. So it looks like this. And it doesn't touch x axis at all. So that is all. So let's see how the graph of when the base is greater than, is less than 1 looks. Sketch the graph of the function f of x is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of x with the interval minus 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. Solution. So here, f of x is equal to 1 over 2 raised power x. So the base here is 1 over 2, and it is less than 1, which is less than 1. And the power or the index or an exponent is x. Now we want to see how the graph of when the base is less than 1 looks. That is what we want to do. And the next thing here is that we have to draw a table. You have to construct a table. So x, then f of x is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of x. So when x is equal to minus 3, 2 minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So when x is equal to minus 3, f of minus 3 will be equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of minus 3 and this gives 1 over 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 which is equal to 1 over 1 over 8 and the reciprocal of 1 over 8 is equal to 8 so when x is equal to minus 2 f of minus 2 will be equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of minus 2, which is equal to 1 over 1 over 2 raised to the power 2, which is equal to 1 over 1 over 4, and it is equal to 4. 
1 hex is equal to minus 1. F of minus 1 will be equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of minus 1, which is equal to 1 over 1 over 2, and it is equal to 2. 1 hex is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, f of 0 will be equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of 0, and n to raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, f of 1 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of 1, and it is equal to 1 over 2. When x is equal to 2, is equal to 2, f of 2 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2, and it is equal to 1 over 4. When x is equal to 3, it's equal to 3, f of 3 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3, which is equal to 1 over 8. So let's impute everything here. So this is 8, this is 4, this is 2, this is 1, this is 1 over 2, here is 1 over 4, and here is 1 over 8. So let's now sketch the graph. Y axis, X axis, minus X axis, A is a Y axis, this Y axis, Y is the same thing as F of X, which is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of X. So here is the center. 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. We do not need this side. So for that, uh, the equation that we are dealing with now. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 or half of x is equal to 1 so when x is 0 when x is 1 y is 1 over 2 when x is 1 1 over 2 will be somewhere around this place the center of this place so you know we are just sketching when x is equal to 2 y is 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 will be somewhere around this place. When x is equal to 3, y is 1 over 8. It will be somewhere around this place. Just know that it won't touch the x axis. When x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 2. Minus 1, 2, so you trace it up, you go and meet when y is equal to 2. So that is that. When x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 4. So you trace it up. When x is equal to minus 3, y is equal to 8. So you trace it up, trace it up. You can see the opposite of the one that we drew the other time. So now let's join the points. Don't mind me now. So you can see this is the graph. So when the base is less than one, when the base of the of an exponential function is less than one. So the graph looks like this. So I do not want you to memorize. That is why I want. Uh, that is why we had drawing this one now, so that you understand it better rather than cramming or memorizing it. So when the graph is, um, not sure when you are graphing an exponential function and the base is greater than one, you should understand how your graph should look. So your graph must look this way. So 
it won't touch the x axis this is x axis so it won't touch it is negative one this is positive x axis so it won't touch it this is when you have f of x will be equal to b raised power of x where b is greater than one so when your base is less than one it looks this way so f of x is equal to next one over b raised power of x so where b where the base is less than one so it looks this way so that is how to graph it so in the next class we are going to solve more questions on graphing of exponential functions so thank you till i see you in the next class bye bye